I'll have to have them put the ramp out. My easy lock bolt will not appreciate that. Uh, I'll be right back. They went in the back to cut a ramp out of plywood with a table saw so I could get on here. Perfect. All right. Awesome, thanks. Perfect. There's a bolt on the bottom. It's a six down. I'll hook into the van so it catches on stuff like that. Oh, okay. Got so, you. thanks, man. All right, so I can't drift this thing because the gyroscope works too well. I can get a few feet, but that's about it. Still a lot of fun though, even if I can't drift effectively. <laughs> Well, that was actually a lot of fun. Um, I didn't expect the traction control in this chair to work quite as well as it does. It made it impossible to drift, but at least now I know this thing's safe on the ice. It will not fishtail. Well, that was a lot of fun over at the ice rink. Unfortunately, they would not let me bring my camera or the gimbal, or they didn't even really want you filming with your phone while you were in there. But I think since I wasn't in danger of falling over, um, it was okay. I just kind of used my cell phone to film a few things. But yeah, I hadn't been on the ice in a power chair before. It actually worked amazingly well. I did wheelchair curling a long time ago, but that's in a manual chair, and you're not really trying to like drift or anything, but I don't know, it was pretty fun. We've come here to Home Depot. I wanna try something. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll soon find out. This stuff has a lot of warnings on it. Let's see if it works. Oh, looks like it's working. Ha ha ha. <laughs> we'll give it a little bit more time. In case you haven't figured it out, I'm removing the paint from the van with this super caustic stuff. It says not to spray more than nine square feet at a time because after that it becomes a health and safety hazard. I'm gonna make this van like old rat rod. I've taken most of the paint off. I'm gonna let it rust up. Then we're gonna clear coat it. Kind of like how the roof is if you remember that. I want to keep that styling on the entire van. Look at it though. The paint's just like, it's coming right off. It's great. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. I'm probably going to go over to the car wash and uh, use their high pressure um, pressure washer stuff to get this off of here. <laughs> this is fantastic. All right, I'm going to drive back over to the apartment, hang out for a little while, get some food, let this stuff percolate. Then we're going to go to a I should probably go to a manual car wash. I don't think an automatic car wash would appreciate this stuff getting all over their equipment. Um, so I'll just go to one of those uh, self-service ones that's, I'm sure, around here somewhere. I'll have to find it. This is going to be great. Oops, looks like I forgot the part that was behind the door. I'll have to hit that real quick. I need to do a little bit of scraping. The uh, nozzle's not quite um, focused enough for this. All right, I've used up the rest of the can. We'll see if we can let it sit here long enough to do something. It's doing pretty good, but you gotta use the stuff really thick. So I went and bought a few more bottles of this stuff and some wire brushes and uh, hit this thing pretty good. This side's pretty much okay. Um, the back is pretty good. Um, 
got a lot of stuff removed there. This side though, got most of it off. So I think uh, once this starts rusting, it's gonna be spectacular. I'm gonna go hit the car wash right now and get all this crud blown off of here. You can see the piles of paint on the ground that were scraped off. <laughs> can you tell where the van was parked? <laughs> uh. I don't know why, but for some reason I get the feeling I might get pulled over driving this thing around. I don't know if probable cause is having an ugly vehicle. Tags are good. Um, when this is all done though, I may have to put a decal on it that says this is not an abandoned vehicle. Because <laughs> um, when this starts rusting, it's gonna look like it was in the bottom of a lake. We're back out here in the alley this afternoon. The van has had a lot of the paint removed and scratched off in assorted patterns. I didn't want to completely remove it all because I kind of want the bottom of a lake sort of appearance. So some paint, some lighter paint, some undercoating, maybe a little clear coat flake. But I got some vinegar and we're gonna try to accelerate the rust process with this. I did forget to bring a rag. I have some napkins, so let's give this a shot and see what it does. Yeah, so far, uh, we've got some paint. There's a little bit of metal showing through. And I think there's sort of like a primer and undercoating on a lot of this. Uh, so let's uh, put some vinegar on here and see what it does. I meant to grab a spray bottle while I was in the store. I kind of forgot it was a little crowded in there. And I suddenly became focused on getting out of the store. Let me see if there's a Dollar Tree or something around here and get a spray bottle because I'm not going back in this place. Yeah, it looks like with a tiny bit I put on there, it's starting to do something. I forgot I set this down on top of the back tire. Luckily, I don't think I ran it over. Urgh. Plastic scraper. Oh yeah, we're good. Well, they didn't have any empty spray bottles, but they did have this $1 cleaner that comes in a spray bottle. So I'm just gonna dump this out and uh, see if we can make this work. All right, so we've got a mixture of hydrogen peroxide vinegar and uh, looks like it's starting to work. We're getting a little bit of rust here going on already. <laughs> Sweet. This is great. People are already making disgusted faces as they drive by. <laughs> okay, I just went around the whole van and sprayed everything. Let's check on the other side and see what it looks like. Wow, that stuff works quick. Look at that. We've uh, already got quite a bit of rust forming here. That's awesome. I've been around this van about 45 minutes now, uh, just keeping everything wet. We're getting a pretty good patina started on here, and it looks like it might actually start raining, which would be perfect for what we're trying to do here. Um, time for food. I just realized I forgot to bring my camera. Um, normally I have it in this backpack here and I can tell it's in here because the camera has kind of a bump right here. So I put my hand on the bag and I was like, oh yeah, camera's in there, we're good. But as it turns out, it's an Amazon Echo Tap, not my camera. Anyways, I just went to the uh, mailbox, I picked up some stuff and I found that bench back there. But we'll get into that when I get back and get my other camera. I've been sitting here by this abandoned fire station uh, doing some more paint work on the van and I happened to look down and look there's an Apple lightning to headphone adapter on the ground there's a lot of things on the ground including dead mice but this uh, it looks like it might actually work I want to try it I know Apple will usually replace these for free if I can clean it up if it doesn't work and it doesn't look like it was hit by a truck. <laughs> Sweet. I'm doing a lot of running around today and I haven't yet made it back to get my other camera. But I did get a bunch more supplies and I did get a bunch more paint stripped off of this thing. So right now we're going to mix up a batch of the rust accelerator and spray it on here. Then I think we'll call it a day. I got a legit pistol grip bottle and some cleaning vinegar which is actually 20% stronger than the other stuff I was using. Hydrogen peroxide, 
and a bunch of free salt packets from the deli. So let's uh, go ahead and mix this up. But yeah, I used the chemical stripper and got a lot more of the paint off, then went to the car wash and used a bunch of their chemicals to deactivate the paint stripping chemical. Spent about $20 at the car wash. Okay, about yay much vinegar, a couple packets of these salt. I, a couple packets of salt, rather. And then some isopropanol alcohol. Or no, this is hydrogen peroxide, not whatever. You get the idea. Yeah, there we go. The uh, rust accelerator. Man, this stuff works fast. I'm uh, well up to the front of the vehicle, and you can see back here, we're already starting to get more color. Now there is sort of a base coat on here that's not waterproof, so this is gonna take a little bit more work. I'm gonna have to keep dousing this uh, several times today, probably a few times tomorrow too. Got a few packages to open. And oddly enough, this one seems to be, um, it feels like drone parts. Usually when you order stuff from Shenzhen, it takes over a month to get here, but I think in this case, and it has an official DJI tag stapled on the top of it, even got the uh, little wire mesh screens in here that you can see. I think this is what we're going to need to, uh, oh, that is not. Yeah, I can tell that's not factory plastic. Um, I mean, it'll be fine, but I think this is what we need to uh, get the thing up and running. Project for tomorrow, maybe the next day. The next one, I'm pretty sure, is from a viewer. Um, I may have been given a hint that there's cat toys and or coffee in here. Let's see. It, it definitely has that sound. All right, so we've got more cold brew labs. Thank you. Uh, this, this stuff is like, it's almost like they designed it to be cold brewed. I mean, it's right there in the name, but thank you. This is, uh, I haven't had to buy coffee in forever. It's awesome. And this, uh-oh, shrimpy shrimp flavor, and uh, feline greenies, the original smart, oh, they're like um, the stuff that they chew on and it's good for their teeth or something. I'll try that in a minute here. And then we have, whoa, what? What's going on here? 20, oh, it's a deluxe toy pack of 20 toys. <laughs> nice. Uh, what should we do first? Cat toys or probably the treats. I feel like, ooh, here you go. You would think I never feed these guys. Thank you for the coffee and the cat treats. I think they'll enjoy it though. Hey, how was that, huh? Yeah, you gotta wait another two hours till the thing feeds you, yeah. I just got the fat one up from a nap and he's not exactly awake yet. Let's see if uh, he enjoys any of these toys. Turns out he actually is a cat. <laughs> Just took a while. interested in how the air conditioner smells. See, the floor in here is not exactly level. Now you may be wondering, why on earth are you stripping the paint off of your van and trying to get it to become rusty? A long time ago at a car show, I saw a car that they had rusted completely up and then clear coated it, and I thought it looked awesome. The previous video I did a long time ago, I clear coated the rust on the roof of this green van that I have. But I don't know, I figured now especially that I've got the giant tires on the back and the back of it sits so high after I had to get rid of the airbag suspension on the back, we might as well make it look interesting. People are gonna stare anyways. And I figure in my mind, if they have a reason to be staring, it doesn't bother me. So yeah, paint removal, rust, clear coat, it's gonna be good. Plus. 
it makes me laugh. There's something great about having a vehicle that's so ridiculously ugly that people turn their noses up at it and don't want to get near it. But it runs fine. Uh, it's got a good sound system. The AC works. I don't know. I don't really have an explanation for it, I guess. I, I can't sell the van. It's not worth anything. So to me, I might as well customize it and uh, make it a little bit more awesome to drive. I almost forgot. I got to go grab something out of the van. For a while, I've been looking for sort of a bench or an ottoman or something like that. If you've ever been to a physical therapist's office, they have these great big flat mats that you can sit on. Well, I've been trying to find something that's about that height that I can use to get dressed or put my shoes on or do stretching or other things like that on. And I found one on the side of the road. It's actually like a bench from a picnic table, but it's exactly the perfect height and the base on it looks really sturdy. It's out in the van. I'm gonna go grab that real quick. There we go. I think that's about perfect. Unfortunately, it is a very slightly pink color, but I don't know. I consider it upholstering it maybe, but I guess that's what towels are for. You can just throw those over the top. But yeah, it's a big solid two by six wood heavy thing. Yeah, perfect. I'll check in with you guys on the next video with how the van rusting project is going or the rat rotting, rat rodening, whatever you call it. I don't know. Anyways. We're gonna call that good for now. If you guys wanna get a hold of me, Twitter is the best way to do it. Send a direct message on there. And I do have a PO box in case you hadn't heard. The address for that is also in the description. Most of the newer videos are gonna have that address in the bottom. And there's some links from a few Patreons that you can go check out. Some of their social media and websites and things like that. Mm -hmm.